Bonjour les amis, do you want to make conversation in French but you feel that you can't find your words uh, fast enough? Um, you don't have uh, someone to make conversation with, to practice with, or simply um, it just feels like languages, French in, in particular, are just something that are is unreachable for you and immersion is something that inhibits you completely. I'm Leanne Stenfield and uh, you are watching French uh, Immersion for Beginners and today is day number two. These videos don't stay on Facebook, they expire. So if you'd like to have unlimited access to these videos, please click on the link in the description of this video and um, request um, access to the playlist of all eight um, videos. The, these are eight techniques that you need to know in order to approach uh, French language learning properly. We can't learn a language the way we learn everything else. And I'm sure you're brilliant of, at learning everything else. You're here, um, you want to learn French, and somehow French just eludes you. And um, it's that kind of thing where you, you're trying to do all the, the good things and the conversation just doesn't flow. And that is because of uh, a language, a foreign language, is a performing art. Cannot be learned uh, like uh, any other subject, but it can be learned, practiced as a performing art. Uh, that is the reason I'm saying, always saying, um, don't learn French, practice it. Uh, because if you learn French and you really know it well, you will be able to teach it. Uh, you may not be able to uh, speak it and um, I do have a number of uh, students who are teaching French at high, sc high school level and they are still taking classes with me for conversation. So know that conversation is not approached um, as you know I'm learning some words put them together and it works. It is a practicing uh, way it's a practicing we need practicing techniques uh, rather than learning techniques. So the learning techniques are practicing um, exercises. So uh, today I'm going to share technique number two um, and um, I'm going to share that with you um, and, and, and I hope that you know you're gonna keep an, an, an open mind when I'm going to say what I'm going to say here. It is about listening and um, the reason I'm saying this and particularly um, you are an Anglophone, most of you are, and so I'm going to address uh, this for Anglophones. Um, in an Anglophone language um, or in English um, we, uh, our attention uh, for learning words is on uh, the word, on a full word. In order to learn French, we need to have the attention on sounds. So uh, the second technique uh, is particularly addressed uh, or uh, referring to pronunciation. So how do we practice and memorize the pronunciation of the words. And so this is a very large um, topic um, and I have full courses um, that address that. But just so that you know the technique itself, it's called actually, the technique is coming from performing arts and it's called committed impulse. And uh, the committed impulse uh, is teaching how to listen. And yeah, we all are good listeners and um, we, we really are, and I'm really not mocking the idea here that everybody thinks that they're good listeners. Everybody is a good listener. Everybody is a, as good of a listener as a, they can be. And the reason I'm saying this is because life forces us to be good listeners. If we don't, if we're not good listeners in life, um, we, 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 com we, deal with, we have to deal with consequences, and so we are forced by everything in our life to be good listeners. But for languages particularly, there is a specific lis listening skill that we have to develop. And so it is about being in the moment in a way, and it's just like so demonetized. I mean, this concept is so demonetized that I really don't want to, to use these words. But what I'm going to say is this. When you uh, are listening the words for pronunciation, in particular for pronunciation, it is about listening them as if you as if you listen 
as if you hear them for the first time. Um, listen from the speaker's point of view, speaker being either me or your teacher or your DVD, CD or the movie or the, sound, the song. And it is so easy especially as an adult to, as an adult to, um, I heard this word once and now I know, I heard it and that's what it is and that's how it hears, that's how it sounds, that's how I say it. But the year really needs a particular ex exercise in order for us to be able to hear it properly and then uh, say it correctly back. And at the beginning, I'm saying this from my own experience with English, I also had a, a, an English language coach. And she was telling me when I was right and when I was wrong in my pronunciation. And I could not, for the life of me, um, hear the difference between the wrong pronunciation and the right pronunciation up to a certain point. And not for all words. You know, for some words I could, but for some other words I couldn't. And that's because our ear is literally growing receptacles, like physical receptacles for each sound. And if the ear is exposed to that particular sound, it's going to grow those receptacles and it's going to be able to hear exactly what, what the sound is. But if it's not exposed uh, enough, then the ear is just going to, and the brain is just going to assume the, the pattern that is closest to it. This is the reason why anglophones sound like they speak English with French words. Um, and that's not so much, oh, they don't know pronunciation, or oh, they don't know the words. No, that's not true. It is because our ear does not hear the difference between the sounds and the brain assumes the closest pattern that it knows. And what does it know? It knows the English sounds. Um, so, uh, it is so easy, it is so easy to actually get the right sound if you listen this way. And of course, when I coach my students, I, you know, I can, I can, I can give, you know, more tools, um, to be able to eventually use this technique. But this is, in a nutshell, three steps. Listen as if for the first time, every single time. So try to listen as if for the first time, every single time you listen to something, some word or some sound. Step number two, listen from the speaker's point of view. So put yourself, I look at, I mean, at, this, at, at the pronunciation as if you were looking from behind their eyes. Put yourself in their shoes. And this is easier for some people and, and harder for others. But this is what I mean. Everything is a, everything is figure outable. Every skill is can be acquired. It just it's just a matter of how we approach it, and everybody learns in a different way. And step number three: listen for the silence between the sounds. This is hugely important because what we typically do, we listen for the sounds, but in order to listen for one sound at a time, we need to be able to be aware that there is silence between those sounds. When we listen for the sound and the silence, the sound and the silence, and with uh, software and me, I mean my videos, it's always something easy to do when I enunciate or because I really speak really slowly and enunciated. I do enunciate in all my languages. And so when we are literally listening for sound and silence, sound and silence, that is when our ear is going to make a difference, become aware that are different sounds and we're not going to be smushing the sounds in, in, in each other that is why you feel that uh, the French words sound like a big, uh, French sentence, sentences sound like a big long word because you're not aware of where is the silence and where is the sound. And so, of course, that doesn't come from the very beginning. And it comes with practice. But the practice must be this. 
slow down and enunciate. Break into syllables. And for pronunciation, the best way to do that is to actually stop on the vowel because it's opening your mouth and the difference between two languages is only in the vowels. Consonants are, well, okay, the French are and not much of anything else. But the vowels is what make a difference between a language of English and French. That's what I had for you for today. I'm going to have a webinar this Sunday. So go on the link in the description of this video and tell me that you want to uh, be, um, uh, you want to know about the webinar and what am I going to present, what is going to be. Um, and so I'm going to, on Sunday, it's going to be a webinar about how to be able to successfully go through an immersion for beginners, how a beginner can successfully enjoy a French immersion. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for technique number three. Merci beaucoup et à demain. Au revoir.